we got a lot to talk about this video. Hello YouTube, welcome to the 94 Coat channel. This is my 2010 Volkswagen GTI. That is a two liter turbo TSI engine. And that is a junkyard 3.6 liter VR6. And throughout this video series, we're gonna see if we can make the two work together. All right, y'all. Sorry to disappoint, there's no Oscar in this intro. That's for a couple of reasons. One, it's midnight. And two, a couple of things I wanna say, so hear me out. Number one, uh, show season's coming up. I'm gonna be at Wookiees in the Woods, April 12th and 13th. Um, and I'm gonna be at Alpine Volks Fair uh, in Helen, Georgia, May 14th through the 19th. If anyone of y'all is gonna be at those shows, Please reach out, please come find me. I'd love to shake your hand. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the nice things that you've had to say. Item number two, I got some tuning finally done on the car. We got a lot of things refined. Huge shout out to Ian at Reflect Tuning. If y'all need tuning work done in um, North Carolina, highly suggest you go and pay Ian a visit at Reflect Tuning. You can also send him your ECU and get work done that way. But Ian um, has done a lot of refinement on 3.6 swaps and was willing to take on the job and help me eliminate a lot of codes, get things to be happier and, and get things to work better with each other. And we did just that. So I can confidently say now at the time of filming this, we have a fully functioning manual swap, 3.6 liter VR6 swap Mark 6 GTI with zero lights on the dash, y'all. This thing runs and performs flawlessly. Next on the list is in the engine bay. So let me show you. First of all, we got a hood. This is just a junkie hood. Um, but we have engine mounts and these are from Black Forest Industries. And that is because I am really, really excited to announce that Black Forest Industries has actually partnered with me on this build. So for those of y'all who aren't aware, BFI makes all kinds of aftermarket performance parts for VWs, for BMWs, for all kinds of Euros. They have their own CNC machine in-house. And so they make mounts, shift knobs, uh, paddle shifters. They're just a really cool company. They make really rad stuff. Um, and so I am incredibly thankful for Justin and Joe and the crew of Black Forest Industries for sending this stuff out. Really appreciate y'all. This has been a huge help and they make a tremendous difference. Uh, obviously our old mounts were junk, but these are a huge improvement even over um, like a brand new OEM mount. So these are higher durometer rubber, the lack of wheel hop, the responsiveness, like with your throttle input, just everything feels and sounds and performs so much better with these mounts. So uh, I'm super proud and super excited that they wanted to partner up with the build as they're a North Carolina company as well. They're located in Cary, North Carolina. It's super awesome that we got two North Carolina based companies teaming up for a really cool car like this. Um, so if y'all have a VW, an Audi, a BMW, go check out Black Forest Industries. Every October, they do BFI Oktoberfest. It's like an all day car show. They open up the shop, they open up the CNC room. You can walk through the whole facility and see all the cool stuff that they do. That's every October and typically around this time of year is when they announce the date for that. So keep an eye out. Thank you once again to Black Forest Industries. This would not have been possible without them. Moving on to the next point. Item number three, this is going to be the last video on this car for a while. I'm ready to go back to dad mode and business owner mode. I have been hustling, working on the car, pumping out content every day in some form or fashion on one platform or another for eight months straight. And so I'm just ready to relax, enjoy the fruits of my labor. <laughs> video comes out is actually my birthday it's my 30th birthday today so um i'm old now and so i'm ready to continue to stress test the car like i said show season's coming up i gotta make sure that the car is properly sorted um because i don't trailer this thing i drive this thing uh, i've been daily driving it for about two weeks now oscar's car seat is in the back and i'm happy to report that aside from uh, basically a couple issues that tuning took care of. I have had zero problems with the car. I mean, it, it sounds great. It runs great. 
It performs great. It feels great. I just can't believe how well this project's come together. And I can't believe the response that, that y'all have, have given me. I mean, the outpouring of support. Y'all have had so many amazing and kind things to tell me. I, I truly did not anticipate the kind of response that this video series got. And it's very hard for me to convey this on the camera, but seriously, y'all, truly, deeply, from the bottom of my heart, I thank each and every one of y'all for tuning in, for watching, for commenting, for subscribing. I... I just, I have no words. I, I'm a nobody. I'm just a dad in North Carolina who engine swapped his car on jack stands, who filmed and edited this whole series. I have filmed and edited this whole series on my iPhone, on iMovie, y'all. So, you know, I'm not a professional and I'm certainly not a professional cameraman and uh, video editor, but I've been doing my best and y'all have really seemed to enjoy it. So that makes me very happy. It makes me very proud. Um, it's not easy for me to feel proud about many things, but this project, this video series is something that I'm proud of. I really don't know what to say other than if you've watched, if you've been a part of this, thank you. Ever since releasing these videos, y'all have been the best part of all this. I think that's pretty much all I have to say. I want to be signing off for a little while. I will see you next time, but let's enjoy the car one last time. Right, first wash in the better part of a year. Not too bad, I just sprayed it off with the foam cannon and just rinsed it real quick, but uh, forgot I have these, so we also got our asymmetrical, our asymmetrical blind spot mirrors on. Got a hood on, this is just a junky hood. Uh, pretty much ready to just rock and roll. I just need to steal my hood strut from the wagon because I lost the one for this. this thing's a lot of fun.
Oscar. Oscar. Oscar.